Lydia here at Lydia's Leisurely Stitching. Today is Monday, March 17th, 2024, and it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. I hope that you are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you decide to watch this video. And I wanted to thank you for coming and spending some time with me. Especially if you're new, I hope that you find something that you enjoy in my cross stitching and find a reason to subscribe. And I'd also like to extend a big thank you to everyone who's a returning viewer. I know it's been eight or nine months since my last video, so I really appreciate you coming back to check out my progress. If you are returning, then you've noticed that my intro has changed. My old intro um, had my cat in it, my front garden in it, and an illustration of me stitching made by my husband. Um, since my last video, my cat has passed away. Um, my husband and I are in the process of finalizing our divorce, and because of that, I have moved out of that house and into an apartment. It's my first time ever living by myself, and so I feel like this is definitely a life experience that I need to have uh, to kind of work on gaining my independence. And because I've been by myself, my hobbies have really soared. Um, I'm an avid reader, and I think I've read 15 books so far this year. And my cross-stitching has been off the charts. For example, usually I would average, I would usually aim for 5,000 stitches a month when I was being a good stitcher and <laughs> stitching regularly. But honestly, my average was closer to 3,000 because some months I'd get like 700 and some months I'd get like 5,000 like I was aiming for. But in January this year, I got almost 11,000 stitches. So you can see um, life has definitely been changing for me. But I have decided to come back because what I really crave is community of stitchers. And so if you're here, I'd love it if you would leave me a comment. Let me know what you're working on while you're watching this. Uh, let me know a little about you because I really, I really appreciate the friends that I've found from FlossTube, from Instagram, from going to stitching retreats, and I'd love to make more friends. So you are my future or current friend, and I would love to get to know you more. So today it's going to be a whip parade. I've got six projects and I've worked on all of them since I last talked on FlossTube. I've worked on all of them this year, which I feel like is a great accomplishment. And um, I've got great plans for the year. So why don't we dive right in? Okay, so the first project is A Place of Her Own. And this is a picture of what it'll look like when it's finished. It's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. The artwork is by James Christensen, and this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. So, I usually keep pretty good track of my photos, but I didn't have photos from all of my projects from my last video because I didn't show all of them in my last video. So I thought it would just be more consistent to show you pictures of what they looked like at the beginning of the year, because I do have that for all of them. So. A Place of Her Own. I started this one in 2015, I think. I didn't keep records back then. This was probably my third or fourth cross-stitch project. And when I started it, um, I had received some advice to maybe start with her face. Uh, so that if I never finished it, I would still have something to show for my work. But I'm happy to say that I am on track to finish this this year. So, and this one's going to be hard to show because it is massive. So I'm going to stand up. So, I really love this tapestry in the background. You can see the girl reading and some music and some books. And I want to be sure to get the rug in there. Because that rug is a beast. So we'll go over. This 
this painting in the background um, is Aristotle with the bust of Homer. And I'm blanking on who the painter is, but it's real painting. And then there's this map. Some cushions. And then we get to where I've been working on this year. So let me fold this up for you. So at the beginning of the year, I think I was at the edge of that blue book. So I've added that brown book and that red book and a whole lot of carpet. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. At the beginning of the year, I was at 85.85% complete. And so far this year, I've done 22,164 stitches. So I'm now at 93.15%. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, I had COVID a few weeks ago, and I've still got a little bit of a cough, but mostly feeling better. So 93.15% complete, um, and I think I have close to 22,000 stitches left, and I'm planning on finishing this in October because... I think that will mark the 10 year anniversary of when I started this piece and I feel like that would be a nice conclusion to the piece. So that's my first piece. And then five, six years after that piece, I've got my second oldest piece. This is Victorian Christmas Eve and this is what it'll look like when it's finished. It is by Sandy Littlejohn and Deborah Lester or Cross Stitch Arts. And I'm not sure if you can find this pattern anymore. Um, I got it off of their website in 2021, um, which I think is now defunct. So I started this December 13th, 2021. And here's what it looked like at the beginning of the year. And oh my goodness, there's a needle on this. <laughs> I didn't finish um, putting my needle through. And that's where we're at now. So at the beginning of the year, I had some of this window done, um, and it was off by one stitch. So I had to tear that out, and I put the window back in. Um, and you can see the man with the wreath and some balloons, little girl, started working on the woman's dress, flowers in the window. I love this one. It's so pretty. And it is full coverage, but because the artwork was made for full coverage, it's a lot, a lot less confetti than the Heaven and Earth designs are, and I really appreciate that. There are quarter stitches, three quarter stitches, and back stitching in this piece. I haven't done any of the back stitching yet, but um, I'm not too worried about it. So this was at 20.85% complete at the beginning of the year. I've put in 456 stitches. And it's now at 21.83%. My goal for this one this year, I believe, is to do 5,000 stitches, which will get me to 15,000 stitches completed on it. And I believe close to 30% complete. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to run this thread through real quick. Take this needle off. We're going to have people staying about. Okay, excuse me for that. And then my next piece is Ornament Log Cabin Home. This is what it'll look like when it's finished. Um, I had this one charted as an ornament by Hade, um, Heaven and Earth Designs, because the full image had a lot of trees in it, which I thought and thought correctly would be full of confetti. And I wanted just to focus on the main portion of the piece. So here's what it looked like at the beginning of the year. And here it is now. 
You can see I've got uh, the chimney with some smoke coming out. Um, this weekend, actually, I've been working over in the sky. You can see the outline of where a bird will be. So this one was at 6.85% complete in the beginning of the year. I've done 2,020 stitches on it so far this year, and I'm now at 8.94% complete. And working on this, I was a little worried because you can see how like pixely the sky is when it shifts from that dark blue to that light blue. Um, luckily, I've been working in that light blue section in the middle surrounding the bird, and those colors blend much more, much more nicely, so I'm happy with that. And I think you can see the peak of the cabin uh, roof line there. I think I'm going to work around it and then leave the cabin for later. I am getting in the sky, getting close to the top of the mountain, um, which is why I haven't filled in the bird yet, because the mountain and the bird use the same colors, and it'll be easier just to get those colors out once and do them at the same time. So that's Ornament Log Cabin Home. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that um, the artwork is by Dominic Davison. Um, and this is stitched on, <clears throat> excuse me, 25 count even weave. Um, Victorian Christmas Eve is on 32 count pearl gray even weave. And A Place of Her Own is on 18 count uh, Ada. Oh, and this one was started on October 15th, 2022. I started this with Julia B. N. Stitches on Instagram. For hashtag B. Davis and Sal, um, for my B. Day birthday by Dominic Davidson. Um, I know it's not like the clearest because his birthday, his his name starts with a D, so it should be like D. Davison, but I wanted it to be about my birthday, <laughs> so I put B. Davison. Okay. And then we have Bookseller. This is a Mill Hill kit, and this is what it'll look like when it's finished. This is my second one of these. I am planning on flashing these into a flat fold so I can make a Christmas village where I can rearrange it every year because growing up that was one of my favorite activities was to rearrange the Christmas village. So um, this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. So far this year I've worked on it for four days. And here it is now. So I've gotten a lot of the stitching done, um, filled in the windows, the trees, and the door, the bench. There's a little bit more to go in the bushes. Um, I think the next time I work on this, I'll be able to finish the stitching and start beading. This one I started on July 25th, 2022. Hmm, which would be before the ornament log cabin home. So I need to change that in my spreadsheet uh, for Christmas and July stitching. And this one is on 28 count even weave. Um, I didn't want these to be on perforated paper because I wanted them to be a bit more sturdy. So I decided to stitch them on fabric and then I can make little flat folds out of them when I'm ready to finish them. And the next one is Celtic Tree of Life by 2x2 Stitcher on Etsy. This is a picture of what it'll look like when it's finished. Well, kind of. So, I'm not planning on doing the outer borders. I'm planning just on doing the tree in the middle. Um, so you can imagine what that'll look like. This is the picture of what it looked like at the beginning of the year. So far this year, I've only worked on it for one day. I did 300 stitches. This is what it looks like now. So I've kind of split the trunk of the tree in half because it is a mirror image. Um, I wanted to, originally the way I was working it, I got messed up and there's some counting errors in the top. Um, so I've kind of fudged my way through which is difficult when a lot of the times there's only like one stitch of empty space in between the lines. 
So it was it was kind of hard to fudge, but I've done my best. And then I'm planning on just starting anew when I finish this side, starting anew on the other side and not having to worry about those counting years. This one is on dark olive 32 count even weave. I like my even weaves if you can't tell. And that one is from April 22, 2023. So I started that for Earth Day um, and the hashtag for that is 2x2 two two on 22. Stir that Earth Day on the 22nd, 2x2. Two two. Funnily enough, I'm stitching it one over one. Um, I wanted to see what it would look like small. And then my last one, I started this one earlier this year, so there's no beginning photo of what it looked like. Um, this one I started on February 17th, 2024. I started it for... Um, I was going to the beach and so I wanted to celebrate that with a new start. This is Celebrate Summer and this is what it'll look like when it's finished. This is by Madame Chantilly and I'm stitching this on Rainy Day by Atomic Ranch. It's a, a 28 count even weave. And I've put in six days of work into this. So here it is. I love the seagull, and um, I'm, I'm starting to work on the cup in the bottom. Those sunflowers are all done. I really like this one. Okay, so those are all of my projects. Um, so my plans. Like I said at the beginning, originally I thought I'd like to get 5,000 stitches a month on a place of her own. That tends to take up all of my stitching time, or at least it used to. What I have been doing recently, and what I think I'll keep doing into the future, is working on a place of her own Monday through Friday, and trying to get 1,000 stitches in. I have 22,000 stitches left and 30 weeks until October when I want to finish it. So if I keep up, then I'll have some wiggle room in case there are some weeks where I don't stitch or I can't meet my thousand stitch goal. And then on the weekends, I'm gonna pull out one non-heaven and earth, well, non a place of her own piece <laughs> because it could still be a heaven and earth design. Um, so, for example, this weekend I pulled out um, Log Cabin Home. I got a thousand stitches in on that, which I feel like was great progress. Um, the piece I haven't worked on the soonest would be the Celtic Tree of Life. But honestly, I'm not really feeling that one right now. So, I don't know which one I'll work on next. I think I might work on this one next because um, I'm in some challenge groups and they need you to work on pieces that have letters in them or words. And this is the only piece I have that has words in it. So I might pull this one out, especially today. Uh, you know, I've been thinking about making a video for a while. I've been having a lot of encouragement from my family to make more videos. And it's it's been hard for me because a lot of the times I don't feel like I get a lot from the videos. I I don't know how others feel, but um, you know it takes time to make these videos. And what I want from these videos is engagement with the floss tube community. And um, so I'm hoping that um, if you've watched this far, you'll leave me a comment and, you know, let me know which one of my pieces is your favorite. Have you stitched on any of these pieces? I know there are a couple of you out there who are also working on a place of her own, uh, and I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, so thanks for stopping by, and hopefully it won't be another eight or nine months until my next video, and I'll talk to you later.